Heidi ho guys. So I've got a good friend out in Colorado by the name of Paul, and he's got some experience with fabricating and body work and that kind of stuff. And I thought I would post a little video because I got, I told him I would show him what I could on my back door of our schoolie. And I drive for a living, and I've been able to scope out every salvage yard within about, oh, I don't know, 200 miles of where I live, uh, looking for a new back door. And there's lots of Thomases and Bluebirds. Our bus is an Amtran, and I can't find the door. Now, this door has two problems, or its problems are caused by two things. When we bought the bus, we were really happy because ecstatic. Because when you looked up underneath, there really wasn't any visible uh, rust. But when we got the seats out and I got the rubber flooring up, it turned into a quagmire. And there's an awful lot of really bad rust. I need to clean it up today and sweep it out. <clears throat> and holes that I didn't see from underneath. But the back door is a problem. And uh, I think what has happened because I was a school bus driver Driver gets back to uh, the garage, they call it the bus barn, at night. There's Kitty Bob outside, he wants in and wants petted. <clears throat> and they're tired, they've been fighting the precious children all day. <coughs> oh, great bastards. And... Uh, It's the bus driver's duty to keep the bus clean. So I've seen this before. I have never done it. But they throw a bucket of water out on the floor, swish it around with a broom, and try to sweep it all out the back door. Well, a lot of water gets on the door. The other problem we have, the back clearance lights have been leaking for who knows how long I don't know if I can a lot of water's gotten down in here and I think that's found its way down into the top of the door let's see if I can get out here and show you guys it's really rusty along here too my plan was to just find a door in good shape and replace it let me go outside and I'll show you the big problems it has. Okay, so, well, the bottom of the door is pretty well rusted away. About the only thing holding this bottom part on here is the reflective tape. And it's just about shot. The rust uh, comes down. There's a little up in here, even down here it's rusted all the way through underneath you got holes and I don't stick my finger clear up in there and this part is pretty well shot now it's the outer skin comes down and it's looped under and I think they probably welded it in place there but I don't know if you can see that the whole thing's loose. Hi, Bob. Anyhow, the old weather stripping that was on here is kind of sponge like. So, any of that water from mopping the floor with the bucket that got into this probably got held on here. It's not in real good shape. I was thinking about maybe grinding see if I can see I can't see in the sunlight 
grinding this off along here and then putting like a U channel up over and then maybe on the outside bolting on or riveting on a piece of strap iron all the way across here that over here too so we've got some bad spot here I can poke my finger right through it the water gets down in here now all these kind of spots I'm thinking about grinding them out maybe fill this channel with some foam for backing some great stuff and then just bondo in this area I don't know I don't have a lot of solutions myself but maybe Paul can help me out I'll post this on uh, I think you can see daylight there. Ooh. Anyhow, I'll post this on some schoolie groups on Facebook, and maybe somebody else has run into this problem. But uh, thanks for your help, Paul. And I'll see you guys later, and we'll get through. Too so sexy for my hat. Too sexy for my hat. What do you think about that? I'm too sexy for the wabbit, sexy for the wabbit, the silly widow wabbit. I'm too sexy for your party, too sexy for your party, no way I'm disco dancing. I'm too sexy for my gun, too sexy for my gun. Uh oh. Uh -oh.